Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? To my channel I hope that this message find you doing well you have joined me on my digital journey I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day if this is your very first time tuning in go ahead subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and your friends hello to my family and to my friends love you Thank you for your words of encouragement. Thank you for your support. Today on this digital journey is actually day 248. This is episode 248. The word for today is restrictions. Restrictions. When the Holy Spirit gave me this word, I was like, okay. Because I was thinking about the world um how everything is so limited so of course let me give you the definitions of restrictions restrictions is a limiting condition or measure the limitations or control of someone or something or the state of being limited or restricted so i was given the word because of my thought process i was like everything is so limited um it's like they they kind of try to keep you so confined you know it's it's just the way that the world is structured but you know thoughts become things so you have to free yourself from the way that you think poverty is a mindset if you're thinking you're poor I mean, looking at your situation and saying, I can never get over this hump, then that is what it is that you're clearing. As for me, no, no, no. That's not the mindset that God, my Heavenly Father, has given me. There's no limit where it is that He's concerned. And the scripture that the Holy Spirit wanted me to bring to your attention um, in reference to your restrictions comes from the book of john chapter 14 verses 1 to 6. please take note of this john chapter 14 verses 1 to 6 and it reads let not your hearts be troubled believe in god believe also in me in my father's house are many rooms if it were not so would i have told you that i go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? What I think the Holy Spirit wanted to bring to your attention today is that there's no limit where he's at. There's no restrictions whatsoever once you join god and you're with the kingdom this particular scripture tells you in my father's house there are many mansions i can take this discussion in a whole completely different angle and this is an example i want to bring to you most communities that you have these days have it's called a homeowners association everybody home has to look the same um, I'm sure you may have the same furniture, the same color wall painting on the wall. Um, it's just this structure. They try to tell you what you need to do. There's limits, there's restrictions, um, how much cars you're supposed to have in your driveway, um, what your garden is supposed to look like. I'm thinking living on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven, there's no restrictions. So why would I live on earth with restrictions? That's something that you need to ponder on. Sila, okay? 
we supposed to be living on earth as it is in heavens the world today like to put limitations on things they like to tell you what it is that you're eligible to get based on a credit score um they got a credit rating one up to 800 is great some places in the world i think united states is the only place that does credit system there's places in the world don't even know what is a credit score um then they want to tell you you know what your house color is supposed to be you go to most of these different countries they got the paint um they got if it if it's loud or if it's soft or it's stone or it's marble or whatever it is they have it based on their particular state their style their culture there is no restrictions there is no limitations but you have to make up your mind that if you're going to allow people to tell you how to create your space what your living space is supposed to look like it tells us in our father house there are many mansions and there are many rooms you should be able to have whatever color scheme that you want you should be able to do whatever it is that you feel that you want to do and not having to feel like you're being violating something or someone else's space like i can remember when i first moved here and my very first apartment which i wasn't even an apartment too long i was like what is your shortest lease because i am out of here um, you got to ask permission in order if you want to hang a picture um, Like you said and if you have a hole in the wall, they want to charge you for the hole, but you're paying You're literally paying these people to stay there But they got you so limited and restricted and the message for today is the Holy Spirit there does not want you to live that way He wants you to know that you have the ability to live your life as freely as God expects us to live on earth as it is in heaven so i hope that you get this golden nugget today because it's extremely good restrictions take the restrictions off take the limits off because there's no limit and there's no restrictions where god is concerned my question to you each and every day is are you hungry i know that i am let's be fed daily bread